Welcome to the New Year's Devil Hunters as Fujimoto graces us with the most wholesome chapter within all of Chainsaw Man with chapter 116 where we last ended things off with Denji offering Asa some starfish to eat. After cooking the starfish to make them edible, Asa takes the sea urchin and consumes it. She notices plenty of school hats around her as Denji comments he's collected all of them to sell once they leave the aquarium. Now many of us have speculated that Denji has been a hustler over the course of part 2, acting as a seat for some people, selling some cigarette butts off to homeless people, finding money wherever he can, because his sort of friend, sort of sister, Nayata, needs some money for her college tuition, and Denji wants her to have a normal life. After experiencing a crappy life himself, the last thing he wants is for Nayata to go through the same struggle he has. Ladies and gentlemen, Denji acting as the fatherly role slash big brother role to little Nayata is probably one of the most wholesome things and just amazing character development since what we've seen him experience in part one. Now, if that isn't incredibly wholesome, I don't know what is, and congratulations to each and every one of you who called it months ago, why is Denji collecting money so he can support your girl Nayata? What I would like to know is, after Aki Pass, RIP Lost But Never Forgotten, he left some money to the Himeno family, and he left some money to the Hayakawa family, i.e. Denji and Power. So, did Denji and Power blow through most of it, if not all of it? Or do you think after the events of part one, Denji still had a lot of money left over and then we find out over the course in part two whenever we get to see Nayata that well the remaining money that he had actually comedically went away towards whatever hobby or interest Nayata has pressured Denji into purchasing for her. I hope the latter is the case there because it would be a nice subtle callback as well. Now fellas if you really want a woman to have her heart melted away and go Lady Gaga for you you gotta mention that you work hard and you grind towards a better future for a sibling or a loved one. I mean look at this expression Asa made for your boy Denji. She's speechless. Anyway Asa and Denji eat the starfish. Denji is about to consume some fish and still hungry Asa decides to try some fish out despite being against it initially. Denji watches her make a disgusted face similar to the disgusted faces that Aki and Power made back in part one and Denji laughs. You're fun he tells her and she's interesting to watch. Not the smoothest of lines but don't worry here because it was smooth enough to make Asa blush and bolster her confidence believing that she's an interesting woman. As a matter of fact she's a fun woman arrogantly telling Denji how charming she is. Now the disgusted faces are one thing but here this attitude of course Course, reminds Denji of a little someone and I know it reminds you of a little someone as well and we all know who Fujimoto is trying to infer with that statement power now look before people start writing in some absurd theory saying is also power reincarnated yes or no because these first two lines are things that power would do and she likes cats like power Look, I don't want to discredit any theories right now, but I think the focal point that Fujimoto wants to give us with this interaction is that Denji is finding familiar rapport and company he enjoyed in both Aki and Power now onto Asa herself. Asa comes up with a plan on how to escape the aquarium by collecting money. The two start collecting money and through this little exchange, the two are smiling, having fun. And then Fujimoto shows us this panel of both characters running, eerily similar to that of Asa and Yuko running when Asa was trying to give Yuko back her shoe. What do you think this means, if anything? Is this foreshadowing of some kind? Now, after the two collect some money, Asa tells Denji to give it all to her. Of course, Denji says, not a chance, and then Asa responds, and this is how you know Denji's down real bad. Once we're out of here, I'll grant you any request. And Denji's like, here, help yourself, help yourself. Come on, I hope your boy Denji gets lucky by the end of part two. But regardless of that, she tells Denji to do exactly as she says. She tells Denji to close his his eyes, cover his ears, go up to a corner, and then Asa thinks for a second, I need to have some confidence, I need to just believe in myself, and with all that money collected, and, and this is surprising, she uses the money in the bag and says out loud that she's gonna buy this aquarium, because we know that things belong to her can turn into weapons, and she puts her hand on the glass and says aquarium spear, and is it going to work? I have no idea, but theoretically it should work, so it seems like the nuances of this power, despite your being out of the picture, if this actually comes to fruition, there's a lot of versatility in how Asa can use these powers going forward. Not only that, if this becomes a thing, would she have the power of the Eternity Devil within that spear itself? Or scenario two, she gets the Aquarium Spear and out of nowhere, we see the Eternity Devil just like appear out of nowhere saying, I'm not using the Aquarium to mask myself anymore and now I have to confront both Asa, Denji, and the rest of the crew. So there's a lot of interesting 
interesting things here that Fujimoto has planted, but where can it go? I honestly have no clue. In any case, I know that Chainsaw Man anime is over it, and that's so heartbreaking to know right now with no news announcement of part two, which I'm going to assume will happen in 2024. But this is all to say that your boy is still going to stay exclusive to Chainsaw Man content and Jujutsu Kaisen over the course of 2023. Because let's be real, when it comes to Chainsaw Man content, I'm going to be your number one source, all right? And speaking of being the number one source, if you want to see some of the great content I made, you're going to want to click on this video right here.